。嗱，隨住亞省拓展能源業咧，勞工安全就越嚟越受人關注有多媒體設計公司將 3D 立體技術引入油砂勞工培訓項目，令培訓變得更加生動，同更適合年輕人嘅。卡加利記者吳萬婷嘅報導。呢个系一个油砂地盘嘅虚拟影像，工人戴上电脑头盔就可以睇到由电脑做出嘅工场，当中设有陷阱，等工人透过 3D 科技体验地盘嘅危险，增加安全意识。Oh, oh, oh, oh. <笑> Dynamic Vision 係一間多媒體設計公司，總裁認為能源業發達同油砂有關嘅項目都有一定嘅市場，所以決定將 3D 技術引入油砂勞工培訓。The younger generation in terms of、uh, the gaming side, it's a natural progression for them to be、uh, to use it as a tool set that they're already comfortable with. So if we can build training tools or, or、uh, applications that are more、uh, engaging for them, it will be a, 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 a better retention scenario for them to、uh, learn the tasks at hand rather than traditional、uh, PowerPoints or, or video. We're finding what we're doing is repurposing that data to then extend down into the safety side and the training side. So from a safety perspective, if we can use a piping plant that's been designed already in the engineering in 3D, The, the advantages of using whether it's immersive technology or interactive 3D is cost effective because it's repurposing the data that's already exists. The virtual reality system essentially is designed to trick your brain. And so the way it does that is with some、uh, fancy technology.、And、there's three stages in a virtual reality simulation, just like in any video game. The first stage is tracking. So the user's input is recorded by the system. And then the second stage takes that tracking information and brings it to the rendering process. So the, in this case, the high-performance graphics card takes your input information and brings in to the simulation, computes what it needs to display. And then, of course, that's the third process itself, display. And we have here today two complementary systems. We have a head-mounted display, which you've seen goes on your head, sort of like a helmet. But we also have a 3D interaction wall. And so those are, I think, the two most promising display systems. 有大型能源公司對呢個 3D 科技配合勞工培訓嘅概念深感興趣，認為項目可以打破語言及文化差異，令培訓項目更有效。You know, we've got a lot of、uh, of new people coming to the province, and、uh, you know, a lot of them come from other industries and maybe don't understand our, our business very well. So I think. Getting good training to those people is, is very important. You get involved, and in, in some of the demonstrations we saw were very engaging, where you you actually see how things work. So, you know, some people can learn very easily by reading a book. I'm not one of those those people. For me, to actually do something hands-on is very useful, but it's not very practical to take equipment apart all the time to learn. So, if you could do this in an immersive environment to get your training, I think it would really speed things up and be far more cost-effective. 能源業目前係本國嘅經濟命脈，勞工安全重要性亦必得舉足輕重。喺過去，每年本國每十萬名嘅能源業勞工就有八人因工傷亡。能源業除咗涉及環保之外咧，同勞工安全以及新科技又點解會扯上關係嘅咧 ？John， 係啊 ，Jason， 咁亞省能源業發達，估計未來三年咧將會新增一萬個職位㗎。所以有關啦，勞工安全嘅生意未來將會被熱捧，引用年青人慣用嘅科技作為培訓佢哋嘅方法啦，將會係另外一個熱潮。咁專家估計啦，用咗呢啲新科技之後啦，未來咧嗰個工作傷亡可以減少兩成左右㗎。咁我哋卡卡利報道到此為止先，交翻俾你 ，Jason。唔該曬你 ，Jun 啊。